Hey everyone, this is James from Fun Foods, and today I got something really special to make, and that is this hamster cake. Now, I made this because it was a recommendation from a Selena Kavarambis. I hope I said your name correctly. I'm sorry if I didn't. But I'm really happy Selena recommended this. She recommended I make a hamster cake. So I've been trying to figure out how to do it, and I think it turned out really good. I like it. I, I really like what I did with it, and... Um, so if you keep watching, I'll show you step by step how to make this. And before we get started, I just want to say make sure you have an adult help you, especially with the hard candy portion of the cake, because we're going to be working with very hot temperatures and I don't want anyone to get burned. So be sure safety first before making this cake. Line a pan with foil and spray with cooking spray. Start with two cups of sugar in a medium saucepan. Add 2 thirds cup of light corn syrup. Add 3 fourths cup of water and stir over medium heat. When the temperature reaches 260 degrees, the hard boil point, stop stirring. When the temperature reaches 300 degrees, turn off the heat and remove the thermometer. Add 1 teaspoon of clear vanilla extract and stir in well. Pour the contents into a prepared pan and let it cool. Spread a thin layer of shredded coconut on a cookie sheet. Now bake at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. As it cooks, flip it periodically. When done, set aside and let cool. To make the hamster wheel, use Twizzlers and toothpicks. Break the toothpick in half and connect the Twizzlers from end to end forming a circle. Cut some twizzlers into thirds. Attach the cut twizzlers in between the two circle twizzlers using some more toothpicks. Remove the hard candy from the foil. These will be used as the sides of the hamster cake. Now frost the cake with your favorite frosting. Make another small batch of hard candy to join the sides together. Hold them in place until they are firm. Now place the Twizzler hamster wheel on the cake. You may need to use wooden skewers to hold it up. Using the toasted coconut we made earlier, cover the cake to replicate the wood chips that are normally found at the bottom of a hamster cage. To make the hamster, Melt some white chocolate and using a jumbo marshmallow and a regular sized marshmallow, join them together. Then dip the entire marshmallow into the chocolate and cover with some toasted coconut as well as untoasted coconut. Using some black writing gel, draw eyes on the marshmallows. Remember that every part of this cake is edible with the exception of the toothpicks and the wooden skewers. To eat the hard candy, wrap it in plastic and smash into small pieces. Well, thanks everyone for watching to see how to make this hamster cake. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. You'll see new videos every Sunday at 2 o'clock. Um, be sure to thank Selena who recommended me making this cake. Um, I'm going to put a link below if I can to her Google Plus or her YouTube page if she has one. I'm not sure. Uh, but if not, it would be good. Just write in the comments you know, how good of a suggestion she made for me to make this cake. Uh, she recommended it more than a month ago. I was trying to figure out how to actually do it. Um, but I think it turned out good and Selena had an excellent suggestion. But if you have a suggestion, please hit it in the comments below and suggest what you think I should make. Until then, I'll see you guys next Sunday.